So then, how does a monopolist maximize their profit? Well, they face a downward sloping demand curve. But unlike in perfect competition, they can choose both the quantity produced and their price. In fact, they choose both at once. Well, just like in perfect competition, monopolists face an average cost curve. You calculate that in the same way you calculated average cost in perfect competition. They also face marginal cost curves. Usually, the marginal cost is consistent. And so, we find profit maximizing output in the same way as we always did, where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. In this case, in our production of AIDS drugs example, our profit maximizing output is 80 million pills. But we don't set price equal to marginal cost. We set price equal to the willingness to pay. That is, how much, is, how much will buyers pay for 80 million pills? And we find, in this case, that we don't set the price at 50 cents, we set it at $12.50. Now, the average cost per pill is $2.50, higher than the marginal cost. That's because there's significant fixed costs in the production of AIDS pills, research and development. This means that because the price is set at $12.50 and the average cost per pill is $2.50, the monopolists are making a $10 profit per pill. If you're selling 80 million pills and earning $10 each, we find our monopolist is making $800 million in profit. While in perfect competition, in the long run, firms make zero profit, a monopolist can continually make very, very large economic profits.